What's up guys, welcome back to Struggle, back to another video. And in today's video, uh, we are in the F80 and we are at RC Restyling. So we're finally getting this thing clear broad before we hit the track day. Yes, you guys heard it, track day. We're hitting it probably tomorrow in the next video for you guys. But yeah, we're finally hitting the track, which I'm pretty excited about. Don't mind my hair guys, but we're in uh, Junior shop right now and we're gonna be clear broad on the front end on this car. Again, shout out to you bro for meeting me this early in the morning. We have a track day tomorrow and uh, we need to get this thing clear broad so we don't destroy the beautiful paint. What do you think of it for the first time seeing it? Honestly, this thing looks so good in pictures and seeing it in person. Oh. <laughs> the color's just so in person, bro, the color just looks too good. So <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. The camera battery's about to die, so I might start recording with my phone. Let's just go ahead and install the clear bra. I'm just too excited to protect this paint. We are officially back home with the car. I did want to show you guys more of the car when we were over there, but unfortunately, I think the phone quality was very bad. Um, but yeah, guys, we finally have the clear bra on here. If you guys don't know, we're actually hitting uh, Thunder Hill Raceway tomorrow, and uh, just knowing that the other cars are going to be on the track, it's more of a dirt track. I don't really want um, a lot of rocks and stuff hitting the front of the car. So, so yeah, I didn't want to mess up our new hood because you guys know we got this painted at SSR Performance, and the paint is absolutely amazing. And I don't want to get this repainted anywhere else. I honestly just want to keep it the way it is. It is really nice, and the fenders are actually in really good shape too both sides so i decided you know what i'm gonna clear about the hood the fenders we didn't clear about the front bumper because uh basically the bumper is in really rough shape you guys can't really see it on video but it is in pretty rough shape so for now we are passing on the front bumper until this thing gets beaten up more we'll go ahead and get this whole thing resprayed probably ssr performance again because this the hood they just did a spectacular job guys even with the clear ball shout out to rc restyling uh this it, this came out really good i'm really 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 happy with this so again it's a small piece here uh major piece i mean it's a half piece pretty much throughout the entire front end i didn't want it covering all this it's actually very expensive to do all that so i decided to just do the front half of this stuff and i think it's gonna be more than good enough for the track uh maybe i should honestly got it up i think no one does a half hood so i think it look kind of weird and so everyone does kind of like a three quarters or whatever uh, or a one quarter or one third or whatever so yeah i think it looks really good you can't even notice it's really on the car and we are protected which i'm super happy about man oh man guys i love this car so much it's been a while since i actually been driving this car and guys i just love this car so 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 much like i promised you guys we're actually gonna be taking one of my cars on the track i'm gonna be taking this the track first and then once we get everything dialed in with the e36 i think we'll be taking that to the track um hopefully hopefully if everything gets dialed in but tomorrow is the big day i've been little i scheduled this track day for like three months now so that's pretty crazy but also another modification we're actually be doing to this car pretty soon you guys see it has the red leather interior which i think is absolutely insane but the dash is the same dash you would see at like an f30 and i really wanted this to be a special dash because my 435 had the exact same dash my wife's 320 it has the exact same dash and i want a unique dash that's only for m cars so i did actually pick up a brand new dash for this car that's extended leather so it has the red extended leather all over the place and we actually got one with heads up display so we can actually do a heads up display retrofit so we're not only just adding an option but we're also doing the extended leather and i think it's gonna look so 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 good i think that set me back over a g which was kind of crazy just for a dashboard but the dashboard is definitely worth it it is absolutely phenomenal comes with the glove box and obviously um i think with all the stuff to do the full conversion was like 1300 bucks to do the heads up display and everything a lot of money but this car is definitely worth every single penny so super hyped for that if you guys want to see that video soon make sure to smash the like button because i know our line is going to be helping me do the swap so if you guys want to see it make sure to smash that like button please hit like let's get this video to i don't know like like a thousand likes if you guys can get it to a thousand likes then we'll do that dashboard as soon as possible possibly even in the next video if you guys get this video to a thousand likes i mean the next video is actually gonna be the track video um but the video after that will be uh yeah the, the heads up display and the new dash it's gonna look absolutely insane if you guys can get this video to a thousand likes i love y'all so much come on i know you guys can do it it is currently thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving to all you guys um currently um i have a little thanksgiving gift for myself and that's some new tips from burger tuning 
The reason I actually got some tips, guys, is because this exhaust, um, I just think you can't even really notice it. Like from the top angle, you guys can't even see it. And uh, this is, I believe, an M Performance exhaust. Um, so we have a nice exhaust on the car already. It just, I don't know, I just feel like it should be illuminated more and it should just stand out a little more than this. It does already have black tips. Um, I'm hoping these aren't aftermarket so we can actually just attach these new ones on top of them. They actually look like they could be sprayed because there's a little bit of a scratch there. But anyways, we got the new tips. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Hopefully they are looking pretty nice. <laughs> now that's some good packaging. Three, two, one. So unfortunately, these are absolutely gorgeous. They say BMS on them and I really wanted to install these, but check that out guys. I think they do have different tips with the M Performance and uh, this is just a little too small. Oh man, that's so disappointing. Yeah, this one says M3 and M4, so that's definitely for the right car, but I think this one has an M Performance exhaust, so it just doesn't work. Oh, that's such a shame, guys. Yeah, buddy. I'm so smart sometimes, guys. Uh, apparently, we actually need to get these tips off to install the new tips. Who would have knew? First thing we're gonna go ahead and do, guys, is just spray some WD-40. I have the cheaper version. You guys can actually get the one that comes with the straw that angles and stuff. That's way better for uh, pretty much a job like this. But uh, if you guys wanna do it cheap like me, this is about $2, I think, or $3, and uh, yeah, should do the job. We're just gonna try our best to get this behind the tip and just spray as much in there as possible, and then we're just gonna let it sit for like 10 minutes. Guys, now that we have it both looped up, let's go ahead and just wait 10 minutes. Now that the WD-40 has been resting for about, I don't know, like 10 minutes, let's go ahead and try to knock off these tips. Guys, legitimately that was super easy. That probably took me about like 30 seconds. It may sound hard, but it's actually very easy with some WD-40. Out with the old, in with the new guys. Look at the size comparison on these tips. That's insane. It's gonna look so much better. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and install these tips. What's super nice about these as well, if you guys look on the top, there's this pin on the top of the exhaust pipe itself, right up there. And basically this top piece will line up with that and then you pretty much just screw in the two screws that come in the kit right here. I believe you just use some Allens and uh, yeah, you screw those in. Shouldn't be too hard, should be really easy. Uh, they also do recommend using some thread uh, locks, thread tightener to make sure these tips don't come off. I'm actually am gonna be doing that because it makes life easy. And what I actually like about this kit as well, guys, you don't actually have a clamp because some people actually, some companies they have a clamp that goes around, you tighten up the clamp and you see the clamp like so noticeably on the side. This, you shouldn't be able to honestly see anything. It's gonna look like just a factory tips, but thicker, it's gonna look so good. One thing I would improve on these tips, guys, if I had to improve anything, would be having like BMS up here, like on the top, just so you can flex that even more. This is on the bottom, it's kinda cool, I like that. I like how they actually have their logo on there, but having it on the top is just another level, and I like that a lot more. Without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and install these bad boys. Now that we got the tips installed, as you guys can see, this was kind of wet because I actually had to spray some WD-40 inside to get it to sit right. Uh, this one was kind of a pain to get in, but the rest of them went in really easy. When I mean a pain, I mean like five minutes. Like it's still not crazy. It's very easy to install. Um, yeah, these are the old tips. So now we just need to put in these screws. I don't know what Allen size that is. I just have to get the Allen size, put on a little bit of thread locker, and then the two screws should be on the bottom. One right here, one right here, one right there, one right there. Um, yeah, just get the rest of that in. It should be uh, complete. Looks like it's a size four Allen key, but uh, yeah, again, before actually putting this in there, I'm just gonna put a little bit of thread lock on there and then tighten this thing. And just like that, guys, we got the tips on there. They are secure, they're not going anywhere. You put thread lock, all that good stuff, and they just look so much better. I mean, I think it's time for a sound clip because I don't think you guys have heard this car in a minute now, so let's go ahead and just hear this bad boy. Do tips actually make a sound difference because it sounds a little different in a good way. Like I actually like it. What the heck? And it looks so good. Like look how I just love how it protrudes a little bit. Now you can actually notice the quad tip exhaust 
And from the top angle, you can see that as well. I think the aggression is on point. It looks super good. And if you guys want to get these, again, they're from Burger Tuning. Link down below. But, uh, sheesh. We got the clear, bro. We're ready for the track day tomorrow. I think other things I want to get done, obviously, just get a full tank of gas. And then probably swing by Blake's house later tonight and just see what's up and see if I need to do anything else to the car. But I think it's ready to go. We did the crank hub. We did the oil change. We did all the gaskets at SSR Performance. So it is pretty much ready, guys. The final touch, honestly, that I really, really, really wanted to get done was the clear bra. Now that it's finally on here, guys, oh, that's just so lit. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to head out, get a full take of gas, get ready for the track day tomorrow, guys. There's really nothing else I really need to get done for the car right now. Again, I got this pretty much ready a month ago or two months ago at SSR Performance. And we just need to do a couple other touch-ups. The exhaust tips, I just want, I just wanted to put them on i want to see if they make any difference in terms of visually and it just makes such a big difference so we got that ready anyways it looks great it's not going anywhere plus if the exhaust tips get super hot i'm shooting flames or whatever down the road it's actually not going to melt the bumper or the diffuser because it's actually protruding which is a good thing because in my 135 when i was shooting flames it actually melted off my diffuser and that was no bueno imagine melting it on this car i'd be so upset because getting the paint match on this is super difficult but anyway, guys, that's gonna have to conclude the video if you guys want to see the track day video make sure to smash the like button it's gonna be in the next video if you guys want to see me retrofit a heads-up display onto this car make sure to smash the like button if you guys actually want to see the 335 is as well get built make sure to smash the like button i'm literally waiting for all the parts to come in for the 335 is i think i spent over 800 in the last week probably even 900 now in the last week just ordering more parts to make this thing perfect but yeah eddie i'm just super excited we got a lot of good things coming up and if you guys can get this video to a thousand likes i'll make sure to get those videos out to you guys as soon as possible without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see y'all in the next one peace out